the single best thing you can do for kids who are struggling to focus is let them go and run around, right? We are the first human society ever to try to get kids to sit still for eight hours a day. It's, it's crazy, right? True. But there's something even more important in, in, in this wisdom that you instinctively feel, Quinn, by getting your kids out, which is when children play freely with other children without an adult standing over them, they develop all sorts of skills that are crucial for developing a really healthy sense of attention. One is they discover what's meaningful to them. It is much easier to pay attention to something that's meaningful to you. You discover what matters to you. You discover how to persuade other kids to pay attention to what you think is interesting. Mm. You learn how to take turns paying attention to the things that they're interested in. Crucially, you learn how to take risks. You know, you mentioned this, you climb a tree, you get anxious, maybe you fall out, but you don't die, right? Mm. If you don't take these small life. risks, you get crippled with anxiety and that of course destroys your ability to focus and pay attention. But you know, and Dr. Isabel Benke, the great Chilean scientist has, has done a lot of research on this. We have just taken free play away from children and supervised play where an adult is standing over them, telling them what to do and enforcing the rules doesn't give them any of those benefits, right? So Lenore learned all this evidence and she's like, look, this is terrible. Um, so she thought the solution is kind of obvious. I'll just send my kid out to play. But, you know, she lived in Queens. She quickly learned, if you were the only parent sending your kid out, they get scared. You look nuts. In fact, often people call the cops, right? Sure. So Lenore decided this had to be tackled at a bigger level. So she set up a program called Let Grow. It's letgrow.org. Really recommend everyone go to their site. And what Let Grow do is they go to whole, they go to whole neighborhoods and whole communities and persuade everyone to give their kids increasing levels of independence that build up to playing outside. Um, so I think of all the conversations I have for Stolen Focus, and I had so many moving ones, I think the mm. most moving was with a kid in a Let Grow program in Long Island. He was a 14 year old boy, big, strong 14 year old boy, taller than me. And until this program had begun nine months before I met him, he had never been allowed out of his house on his own, not once, right? His parents wouldn't even let him go run around the block. I asked him why, and he said, my parents are scared of all these kidnappings. He said, this is this town the boy lived in was like, the French bakery is across the street from the olive oil store. <laughs> there have never been any kidnappings. Right, right. And and he had a level of fear that'd be appropriate if he lived in Kiev right now, right? Sure. But then this program began and him and all his friends started to play outdoors again. And I said to him, what did you do? And he said, oh, we played ball games. And then he said, <laughs> he leaned forward and he said, he said it very confidentially, he said, we go into the woods, even though we got no signal on our cell phones in the woods. And I said, oh, what, what do you do there? And he said, we built a fort and now we're building another fort. And as he said this, maybe this will sound melodramatic, Quinn, it really, mm. it, it really looked like watching a child come to life. Mm. And I thought about how many kids I know who never get to explore anything, except mm. on Fortnite, where you can hardly sure. be surprised they become so obsessed with it if it's the only place they ever get to roam and explore anything uh, and where they're not controlled. Um, and, and Lenore was with me that day. And when that boy left, she turned to me, she said, think about human history, think about all of human history. For all of human history, young people had to go out, they had to hunt, they had to seek, they had to discover things. And then in one generation, we took all that away. Mm. And that boy, given a tiny little bit of freedom, what did him and his friends do? They went out and they built a fort. Because this is so deep in human nature. Now, there are lots of big things that I argue for in Stolen Focus mm -hmm. that we need to do to restore our attention and focus for both our children and for mm. us as adults. One of them is we need to restore human childhood, right? What, and particularly now, this should be clear to us. Whatever you think about the COVID restrictions, and I was in favour of them, we can all see that it has horrifically damaged our children, mm -hmm. keeping them shut inside. Well, okay, if shutting our kids inside for two years has really harmed them, and I, I can't imagine a person who would disagree with that, then we should be able to see that by historical standards, we were shutting away our kids long before COVID, sure. right? By any historical standard, right? We've got to restore human childhood. I would argue every single school in the United States should have a let grow program. This is low hanging fruit, right? Mm -hmm. We can, this costs nothing. It's free. True. Everyone can see from, from, you know, 
from uh, Tucker Carlson to uh, super liberal shows that I've been on. Everyone agrees we've got to get this right with our kids and that we've been doing it wrong and that we can restore human childhood. 